Hi guys, it's Debbie from What's Mama Cooking For Us. Thanks for joining me today. And today we are going to make some fried chicken wings. And it's so simple, so easy, but oh so delicious. So I have a pack of chicken wings. It's about three pounds or so. But you know, whichever you want to use. You're going to need some vegetable cooking oil, some flour, salt, pepper. I like to use Lowry's, of course, is the best. Onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, some hot red hot sauce. And I like to put parsley in mine just because I like to see the see it in the in the batter, in the mix. So yeah, so oh, and I use a little bit of vinegar. Sorry guys, I didn't bring that out, but I'll show you that part. And if there's no real, you know, that's the word I was looking for. There's no real measurements. We're just gonna put this together and simple and easy and enjoy. So I hope you guys stay tuned. Okay, guys, simple and easy. I already rinsed these and just with regular cold water. And I just take the the wing tip and put it behind just so they stay together and it's easier to cook. Okay, and for the seasoning, guys, I just season mine up with some salt and pepper. A good amount of salt. You want them to taste good. A lot of black pepper because I like a lot of black pepper. But you use as much as you like. And some Lowry's. I always use the powder, guys. Garlic powder. Don't use the salts because then you have to be careful with the salt. So I always use powder. I don't even buy the salt. This is onion powder. And some paprika, which gives it the color. And guys, I like to put parsley in mine. I don't know why. I've just been doing it for years. And we need some hot sauce. Probably, let's take this top off. Probably just like, this isn't much chicken, but maybe an eighth of a cup. Not that much. And then I like to put a little vinegar a splash. Um, I don't put a lot of vinegar because this isn't very much, but, you know, depending on how much you have, and then you want to give it a good mix and with your clean hands, just do them up really, really good. So you get the seasoning everywhere. The vinegar and the hot sauce helps tenderize meat. So I use that whenever I tenderize, you know, chicken, especially so look at that. You want it to look good. You want it to look good in season. And then, okay guys, so what I like to do is just take my flour and put it in here. And what I like to do is I like to just mix mine up just like this and let it coat on there and get a good coating. You could. I used to do this in a paper bag or plastic bag, but I learned that why waste that when you can do it right here in the bowl, simple and easy. And one time, I'll tell you guys a story. We used to have these house parties at our house all the time. But anyway, the power went out at our house. And I had no way of cooking the chicken wings that I was making for this party. So they were just sitting there all day like this thinking, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? We're waiting for the power to come back on. <laughs> so I thought, well, I used to work at the Bowen Center. And my mother was the manager up there. And uh, so I went up there, turned on the deep fryers in the, the kitchen and cooked them in there. And when I got there, they were all like this. The coating was all on there like this really good. And they came out to be the best chicken wings. So now that's how I do them. I let them sit like this and um, let that coating just sit on there like that. It kind of brings out the moisture out of the chicken and it gets in the flour and it makes it extra crispy. So that's how I do it. But if you want and you don't want to, you can put them on a sheet pan and let them sit here like this. You don't have to go to all this trouble. <laughs> and this one you can't really do because he's broke. Oh, well, maybe he's going to work. And that just helps them cook good so that the wing isn't sticking out of the pan. So we're just going to let these sit for half hour to an hour. It's up to you. 
and yeah, they get the best coating. Okay, guys, so you wanna get plenty of grease in your pan, fill it up like halfway, and um, I just use vegetable oil. I showed you guys that. And just make sure it's hot enough, like 350, 375. And if you don't have a thermometer, you just throw a, a tiny bit of water in there. And if it pops like it's popping right now, it's ready to go. So let's get these guys in here. And that's what you want to see. And the worst thing you can do is overcrowd your pan, guys. So just put... I'm going to put all five of them here because I'm not going to, you know, put two in another pan or one. So that should be perfect. So we're just going to let them cook. And in the meantime, I already cleaned up most of my mess. And you always got to be careful with working with chicken, spreading germs. Um, clean everything thoroughly and keep the chicken things separate and then wash them. Keep them separate and I'm just going to get a pan ready for when they're time when they're ready to come out. I'll time them and let you know how long they take. Okay, so it's been about eight minutes. And look at that crispiness, guys. See that? These are big wings. Yummy wings. <laughs> Okay, so now we're just probably going to give the other side maybe six to eight more minutes, and they should be done. And you got dinner all ready. I'm not used to making five in a pan, guys. I had four sons. I raised four sons. So usually there would be two, three of these pans going. <laughs> but I'll be back when these are ready. Okay, it's been six minutes. I just tucked them with the thermometer. And they were at 140, but I'm just going to flip them just to make sure they're crispy enough on both sides. And not too crispy. <laughs> Look at these guys. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Over there. Okay, a couple more minutes and we'll be all set to take our bite. Okay, they're at 160, so we're all set. Now, you don't have to use a temperature. These cooked eight minutes on each side. But you guys, you can tell when they're done. They look done. And you'll know when they're done. See that crispness? But if you're worried, I, I you know, for years I never used a thermometer for years. But for my videos, I like to. That way I'm giving you the correct times and temperatures or to the best of my ability. All right, I think these are done. So in the meantime, I got a pan ready with some paper bags. I use a paper bag because, you know, why waste our paper towels? And drain them off pretty good like this. And just lay them over here to rest. And then let your grease cool. And I'll show you how to store your grease. You can store your grease in your um, fridge and reuse it there's nothing wrong with it drain the the drippings out like take a lot of these drippings out and uh drain it and store it and you'll be good to go okay guys dinner was ready in what less than 20 minutes look at these you see them look at how nice those look yummy let's make a plate so we can take our thumbnail picture. Look at that, the bones coming right out. So tender. This one too. Oh my gosh. Then you can just throw this bag away and the pan's practically still clean. You just gotta do a little wipe down. Look at these, my God, you guys. Are you ready for that bite? Are you ready? Oh my gosh. Let me take my thumbnail, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here's all the drippings from the pan. I just used a slotted spoon and scraped those out. And then wait till this is completely cool. I put it in a glass container or a plastic container. Look at that. 
It's clear as can be. You can use this again. I'm gonna use it to fry some chicken to make some chicken sandwich sandwiches. And take a spatula like this. That is so simple, so easy. Throw this away. Dinner's all cleaned up, ready to eat. And that's it. Yeah, I just want to stick this clip in so it's going to be stuck in here somewhere. And just to show you how simple it is to save your grease and keep it in the fridge. Look at that. It's completely perfect. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Look at how delicious these look. Oh, my God. All right, let's have one. Let's take this nice one. Take that bite. Okay. I like to have mine with a little bit of hot sauce. Put some hot sauce on there. Oh, <laughs> that bottle's heavier than I thought. All right, let's go in. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. They're just falling off. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> so good. So crispy. Look at that. You see that, guys? Oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so good. All right, you guys. Look at how tender these are. Watch this. See that? Look at that. Perfectly cooked. Perfectly tender. Mmm. All right. So, I know this is simple and easy. I want you guys to give this a try. And, uh, yeah. So, I'll see you guys on the next one. Be blessed. This was so easy and so simple. I almost wasn't going to do a video, but I thought I'd show you what I do to make mine nice and tender, nice and juicy, crispy. So, yeah. See you on the next one, guys. Be blessed.